Let's get into our monthly player monthly awards. Monthly player awards. Brig, would you like to take it away on these? Yes, sir. Monthly player awards are very exciting. <clears throat> the top players in June are as follows. In the National League, we have Kyle Schwab. Schwabs. <laughs> we love him. In the American <laughs> League, it goes to Jordan Alvarez. That's and the top not player only, overall. Not only do we like Schwabs, he loves June, by the way, because last year he had that incredible June and then got hurt right before the All-Star break. That's right. Um, I'm curious if he can maintain momentum into July. I would like to see him do it, honestly. Because he hit more awesome. home runs in June than the entire Detroit Tigers lineup <laughs> in June. It's just crazy because Javi Baez should be doing way better than this. I am way so better. upset about Javi Baez. It's, yeah, I, oh, I'm curious her. if that hitch in his swing, I think we talked about this last week, that if that hitch in his swing they talked about when he first got signed to the Cubs, Cubs yeah. it's caught up to him. I don't know, but... Man. Something's wrong, and it's Something's wrong upsetting. Mm-hmm. Jordan Alvarez is a machine, and that's really good. I hate that guy. I know, but he's a great baseball player. He's so good. He is so, so, so good. <laughs> I'd like him if he played for anybody else. It's just the fact that he plays for the Astros. I hate the guy's guts. <laughs> okay, the Rocky, the rookies. Sorry, not the Rockies. The rookies. <laughs> there are no Rockies June. on this list. <laughs> Rookie awards from June go to Michael Harris, the second in Atlanta. Julio Rodriguez is uh, back-to-back awards now. That's two months in a row. Julio! Julio! <laughs> and I have I have this for you, Brig. I saw this this morning on the Twitter machine. Um, this I thought was fascinating. So it says, Julio Rodriguez ranks among qualified AL rookies. Home runs with 14, first. RBIs with 41, first. Stolen bases with 20, first. OPS, 820, first. Slugging, 483, first. Hits, 83, first. Extra base hits, 32, tied for first. Runs, 45, first. Total bases, 145, first. WRC plus, 134, first. We're going to get, I think we should get into that next week. That's an interesting stat and it's been yeah, big let's time talk this about year. It, yeah. And then F War, 2.6, also. First, the Rookie of the Year award is Julio's to lose at this point, and yeah. I am pumped. Well, we've been talking about it, and you you especially have been predicting this for months and even before, mm-hmm. so uh, it's, it is really exciting. I'm fired up. I love Julio so much. My goodness. Let's Sorry, talk about pitchers. Pitch. Pitchers through June, we have Sandy Alcantara, or Alcantara, playing for Miami, and Dylan K- Cease. <laughs> Not Pace, Cease, Dylan Cease. <laughs> Sandy um, in Miami is must watch baseball. We've talked mm-hmm. about that. Yeah. And the dude, I mean, even he's on a middling team, the rest of his performances are incredible. Yeah. Must watch yeah, he's baseball. He's awesome. He's really good. The Marlins have a lot of talent. It's just a matter of getting it together. Like, I think we've yeah. talked about this before. They might be a year away from making the playoffs. Yeah. But we'll see. I hope it's not more than one. Yeah, because they'll I think they'll tear it down if it's more than one. I think so too. Which would be a bummer. But and Dylan Cease has been dealing. Dealing. Holy cow. Absolutely yeah. dealing. The relievers for June are Emmanuel Class A in Cleveland and Edwin Diaz for the Mets. Everybody knows Edwin Diaz is amazing. He is. And he's I feel like he struggled a lot last year, and that was part of the problem the Mets had. But yep. he's found his mojo again, and this is the sixth time in his career he's been reliever of the month. He won it five times with the Mariners. Um, the Mets are definitely getting what they paid for with him. Like I think they were willing. To, I think at this point it's like, yeah, we were willing to take on Robinson Cano. We were willing to give up Jared Kelnick to get this. This is what we want. This is what's going to take us to the promised land because you got to have a guy like him to win the World Series. You do, and he's and he, yeah. He's the awesome. best right now. Yep. Do you have any problems with any of these awards, Brick? Nope. Do you? Mm. Uh, I don't know. I kind of did a little bit last night when I was putting this list together, but there was somebody, but I don't see it anymore. I don't have a problem with it anymore. <laughs> I think if Aaron Judge's averages were higher and not just his home runs, he would probably be a better contender instead of Jordan Alvarez. And that's I think, I think Jordan that was, Alvarez. 
That's who it was. Yeah. I was like, Aaron Judge had a great June. He walked, what, three walk offs? Three walk offs. I think that's a big deal and needs to be recognized. But at the same time, Alvarez has been wildly consistent and just himself the entire the entire month. So yeah, deserving. And but they I keep would not moving. Upset to see Judge. They keep moving Judge around a little bit. I mean, if they'll keep him in center field, I think he'll be a lock in for a lot of these awards and maybe even MVP because he hits a home run every freaking day. Unless I put money on him too, then he doesn't. Stop it! I did stop. Good <laughs> <laughs> for that reason, like legit. Brig, I did it three days in a row. He didn't hit a homer, and then I forgot to the next day, and he hit one. I was like, "You kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Plus money on that? You kidding me? It's your rabbit's foot. <laughs> Leave it alone." <laughs> going to, especially since I won like twenty bucks this weekend on the Marlins. Whoop whoop! Oh so. yeah, baby. <laughs>